Once again, we're here at the Edmonton Soccer Dome, FC Edmonton in preseason training. They've just finished up a, a preseason friendly match against the club, and I'm here with Shamit Shom. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Shamit, let's just kind of start with your mindset coming into this season. I know that you know you were here last year. It was it was kind of a long season for everybody involved, but you're back. So where's where's the head at right now? Yeah, I mean it's a bit of a different situation than when we started last year, but. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. We're just going to build from the ground up, and you know, it's a fresh. It, the beauty is, it's a fresh. It's a fresh uh, clean of paper, fresh sheet, and you know, I'm just trying to play my part and help the team grow and and do as uh, good as we can this uh, coming season. Uh, at the moment we're recording this, a lot of people don't know that you're coming back yet, but uh, by the time this goes out, they obviously will. What was it like for you, the process in in kind of deciding to come back? What were the conversations you maybe had with Alan Koch and whoever yeah. else? Yeah, it was, it was difficult for me to see what the club was going through, first of all. You know, I had to just take a step back and kind of think what was best for me, my family, my entire situation. You know, I had some good talks with Alan, some good talks with some of the other coaching staff, um, and just some good talks with some of the other guys that were planning on being a part of the team. Um, I actually started training with the team a week early just to kind of get a, a vibe of, you know, what, how the team was looking. And I can honestly say that, you know, I'm confident in the team we have, regardless of the situation and whatnot. And if I wasn't confident in it, I wouldn't be here this year. Um, but just being seeing the way the coaching staff is running things, um, the quality of the group, the way everybody's committed to working hard. You know, that's something that was exciting for me. So just excited to be a part of the group this year and, and do as best as we can. And hopefully we can uh, surprise some people. Yeah, I think that is definitely the, the aim from a lot of guys. FC Edmonton is obviously a club that you have a lot of history with. You know, you were here in the old days before the CPL, before you went off to play in Montreal and you're back here. It's always got to be special, right, to be representing your hometown. Yeah, and I think that was a big thing for me was just staying back here, representing FC Edmonton, especially during the tough times. It's something that I was, you know, I'm willing to do. And I think, you know, everything that the club's done for me, you know, it's my time to give back. And so hopefully being here, I can be a role model for, you know, the younger kids coming up and just uh, be a good role model for the team. Mm -hmm. uh, last season, I think when you came in, when you first signed back with this club, it was a really big signing for the club, obviously, because you have been a player that, that a lot of people around Canadian soccer know. You've got some of that experience in MLS with Montreal, which, yeah. which went pretty well. You came in last year. I, I don't think it's a secret that it wasn't the way that you wanted the season to go, right? For the club, for yourself, for anything. But uh, maybe what did you learn last year about you know the way that the whole year went down and what can you kind of bring from that into this year? Yeah, I learned a lot about myself and, and just, you know, when things don't go your way, what can you do about it? Um, you can either kind of mope about it, complain about it, or you can just keep putting in the work. And so that's kind of what I'm going to bring into this year is you know, just come in day in, day out uh, and put in the work. Uh, I think last year I was a bit on edge too. I was putting in a, a bit more pressure on myself to, to know you be the guy. And when, you know, we weren't having success, it, play, it hit a bigger toll on me. This year, you know, I'm coming in a lot more relaxed and just, you know, enjoying every moment of just playing back home with my friends, in front of my friends and family, and just, you know, really having fun and playing a bit more relaxed. And hopefully that'll bring the, the best version of me out. You mentioned earlier, you know, you guys want to surprise some people this year and obviously, you know, it's, it's no secret that maybe the expectations aren't super high for this club, but it feels like there's hunger in the team to certainly maybe prove people wrong in this team and, and as you said, surprise people. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of guys here that, you know, feel like they should be playing for bigger contracts in, in, at a better level, including myself. And I think with that hunger and that desire, um, it goes a long way. You know, soccer is a lot more than just technique and quality and, and how talented you are. It's about how much you're willing to put in the work, how much, how, dir how, like, how dirty you're trying to be. Not, not dirty like that, but like how much you're willing to put in the work and the grit. That's yeah, what I mean. Oh my gosh, was. that's terrible. <laughs> um, and I think we've got guys that are willing to do that. And that goes such a long way in soccer. And so, you know, that's what I'm really excited about is just coming into an environment where everybody's willing to put in the work day in and day out and get better. And from that, hopefully you get results mm. and we'll see. Yeah, as you said, you know, there's players here that want to play at higher levels. And I think that's true of every team in the CPL. Probably almost every player in the CPL wants to perform well here and get to that next level. So, you know, as somebody who's been at that next level, who's been in MLS and has seen it, what does it kind of take, do you think, to, to get there, to show yeah. what you can do? I think it just comes, it, it's just about doing it on a daily basis. You know, being here last year, I could see some guys, you know, they would come in for a day or two, two or three days out of the week and train hard. And the other days they wouldn't show up. Uh, in games, you know, it, they, would, they wouldn't be focused, you know, and it goes the same for me. It's about coming in day in, day out and having that same standard and, and matching that standard every day. And as soon as you do that on a daily basis, you know, soccer is a game of percentages. You know, the next level isn't a thousand times better than us. It's probably three, four, five percent, right? So it's just about what can you do to make up that one or two, three percent to get from this level to a higher level. And yeah, there's a lot of guys in the league that want to do it, myself included. And it's just about who's willing to put in that, 
the work the hardest and who wants it the most. So, yeah. uh, so what are your maybe your first impressions so far of, of this preseason? We've already touched on them, but it's got to be kind of an interesting vibe around this team right now. A lot of I know there's a lot of guys kind of on trial still, or a lot of guys that are kind of hungry for that maybe bigger role in the CPL that have come from other clubs. So what is what is the vibe and just what you know what what is it kind of the messaging from the coaching staff at the moment? Yeah, it's an interesting group. It's a tricky time. I mean, we're only a month out from the season, maybe even less, but. Um, you know, we're still trying to f fi fix our final pieces, but everybody's just hungry and ready to work. Even the guys on trial are making it hard for the guys that already have contracts. You know, they're putting pressure on the guys who have contracts to, you know, try to take their spots. Um, so definitely a very competitive environment because everybody's trying to prove themselves. And I think the beauty is of, you know, starting from the bottom is, you know, the starting 11, the starting 18, like those spots are all up for grabs. And so everybody's hungry and pushing for those spots, which is making training very competitive and, and very intense. The season, as you mentioned, coming up really quick. You guys start it at home against Valor FC. What are you looking forward to most about this year coming up? I think just the fact that there, you know, there's no expectations. Nobody expects us to do well, if I'm being honest. I don't think anybody in the CPL expects that we'll do anything special. But that's the beauty of soccer. You know, a team from a team that starts from the ground up with nothing, they can they can do everything if they got guys that are you know together that are willing to put in the work. And I might I'll even go out there and say, look at the national team. You know, they might not have the best players. They're not all playing in Europe. But they have that unity, that cohesiveness, that brotherhood, and that's what drives them forward. And if we can replicate, you know, an inch of that with Edmonton, uh, it'll go a long way. And so I think that's what we have to focus on, especially. It's funny you mentioned the national team and, and replicating things in Edmonton because, you know, we've seen what the soccer community is like in Edmonton, especially, you know, when those national team games were here. They, they trained in this, on this very pitch. Yeah. Um, you're obviously an Edmonton guy. You know that there's a, a very hungry soccer market here, right? Oh, it's huge. It's huge for us. It's just about, I guess, for Edmonton, for FC Edmonton, it's about you know tapping into that. Um, but it comes with results. You know, it's anywhere in the world. If you're not winning, people aren't going to support you. So um, it's all about what we do on the field and putting out a good performance. And hopefully, we can change the narrative with FC Edmonton and get more of the fans out. Because Edmonton's a soccer city. You saw it when it was minus 30. I was out there cheering with 60,000 other people. It's a soccer city. We just have to tap into it properly, and, and you know we need to have the success to be able to drive that. And just finally, I mean, a lot of players uh, kind of set goals for themselves during seasons. Some players are, are more open than them, about them than others. Just what are you looking for from yourself this year? Uh, you know, some similar stuff from last year in terms of being a role model leading this team, except that times a thousand. You know, I need to do more. I need to stay healthy and just being a real leader for this team. I think this year is a lot different where, you know, we're, everybody's coming, you know, with no expectations. and. Um, me being here, for me, I just need to be a big leader on the team and, and drive this team and drive the success. And the way I'm saying is, you know, if the team has success, that means I'm having success. And that's the way I see it. And, you know, hopefully we can make that happen. Once again, Shamit Shom of FC Edmonton. Thank you so much for Thanks taking for the time. Me. Thank you. We're joined now by T-Boy Faya, the other mm -hmm. FC Edmonton, you know, <laughs> local kid yeah. back for this year. How's it going, man? Nice, nice to meet you. How's it going? Yeah. Let's just start with kind of that thing you're coming into the season you're one of the guys that's back out of honestly not not a lot of guys back yeah, with the club but you're back uh -huh. how is kind of your headspace at this moment heading into this season yeah i'm very excited very excited to be back uh to represent the city again uh this is my hometown so i'm very happy to start another season here mm -hmm. and i uh, can't wait to get started as you mentioned it is your hometown here in edmonton which has a rich soccer history lots of talented players have come through here how special is it to be able to play pro soccer in your hometown? It's very, very special. Uh, many young kids obviously want the opportunity. I'm so blessed that I got the opportunity to play professionally. And uh, I just want to, you know, pave a way for the young kids that want to play here and just uh, play for their city. Yeah, I know that this, uh, this soccer dome in particular has seen a lot of talent come yeah. through it even recently. I know when Canada was in town for the World Cup qualifiers, mm -hmm. this is where they were. The Prime Minister was here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Last season with FC Edmonton, you know, maybe it didn't go the way that you guys wanted, but you kind of got your foot in the door there, right? You got your first few minutes with the club. How was that experience for you just in that first year? And maybe what did you learn from that? Uh, yeah, it was a big year for me. It was a big year to grow. I just had a lot of fun experiences, a lot of hard experiences I learned. Uh, just, I just learned how to be a professional, you know, just going in day in and day out, you know, putting in the work and uh, just taken as much as I can from the coaches and uh, the older players and uh, just learn from them and yeah so it was a good season for me to grow and uh, hopefully I can grow more this year. So now after you've kind of got that first little taste of the pro game coming into this year maybe a bigger role with the team hopefully so how excited are you just to 
to kind of get started here and to get the ball rolling. Yeah, for sure. I'm excited uh, for this season. Uh, just get more minutes under my belt. Uh, also, just uh, put in some more big performances. Obviously, I want to win. Uh, I want to win awards, uh, individual awards, uh, team awards. So uh, this season is going to be a very big season for me. Do you set a lot of like personal goals for yourself heading into yeah, the season? Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. I'll always uh, before season, I jot down some goals of mine. Uh, hopefully, I can reach them this year. Hopefully, I think yeah. we all hope that. Yeah. Uh, I I want to ask about what it's like coming to this training camp and playing for Alan Koch as a coach in particular. He seems like a guy that really believes in his guys and obviously he's valued yourself in Darlington enough to, to want you guys to come back. So what is it like playing for him and for, for this club? Uh, for me, playing under Island College has been a very good experience. Uh, very, uh, I've learned so many things from him. Uh, and uh, he's just one of those coaches that when he believes in you, he, you can see it. And every day you just want to come in and work for him and just play hard for him. So yeah, playing under Island College has been a very uh, dream, that's a dream come true for me, actually. FC Edmonton season starts really soon. I think only a couple of weeks from now you guys are playing Valor at home, I believe, in that first game. Once this season gets going, what are you most excited for about being back on the pitch? Uh, just the fans, seeing the fans again, you know, playing uh, home games, uh, just, you know, hearing the fans out there and just playing for them, just playing for the city, you know. That's, uh, that's what I most look forward to this season. Well, hopefully uh, lots of good memories to come at, at Clark Stadium in Edmonton for you guys and all your teammates. So, mm -hmm. T-Boy, I appreciate you, Thank you very much. doing this to me. Yeah.